This week, the Refresh Network is at Target Field, and we are talking to Dr. Rick Aberman. He is the Minnesota Twins Director of Peak Performance, essentially the team's psychologist. He also works with a number of other teams here in the Twin Cities. I hope they have a better sense of themselves as a person, as, as people. A great conversation and some good life lessons that we can all implement in our own lives. Dr. Averman, thank you so much. So you're working with, with a lot of people that, that, that are performing and operating on a really high level. What kinds of things are, are you working with them on? A lot of times uh, people come to me because they're not doing as well as they'd like to do. Uh, and sometimes they come to me because they're doing well, but they're not happy. So it's really a matter of kind of helping them become a little bit more self-aware, get to understand themselves more, so that they can make better decisions in terms of what they're doing with their life. What do you tell people, athletes, about how to maneuver the, the kind of pressure that they must feel on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah. and also really finding a way to stay connected to themselves? Figuring out how to stay connected to yourself is really what it's all about. And the more successful we are, the more people notice. And the more people notice, the easier it is for us to become somewhat distracted or become a little bit more distant from ourselves. So the higher we go in life, the easier it is to become more externally dependent and the harder it is to stay more internally dependent and connected to oneself. Do you have any tangible things that, that people that are watching this right now can really do on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, to keep themselves connected to who they are as they, yeah. as they maneuver life. Yeah. When you get up in the morning, most of us tend to look at our list of all the things that we need to do. What I encourage them to do, and it's just a little thing, is instead of going right to that list, start with thinking about the things that are most important to you. What are the things that I value? What kind of person would I like to be today? Who am I and where am I going? And then go to your list and that way, you'll start living and executing that list in an entirely different way, more from the inside out versus the outside in. What's your definition of success? Ooh, um, what's my definition of success? Well, it's not always wins and losses, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. For me, success is about learning and growth. A am I growing as a person? Have I learned something today? Complete this sentence. The world needs more what? Uh, I think the world, world needs more compassion and empathy. Empathy is something that um, is critical to everything we do in terms of our effectiveness. Not just about being a nice person, it's about being able to understand not only what my experience is and what my emotions are, but be able to understand what your emotions are and what your experience is. And when I can do that, we can do a lot of really cool things. So from all the conversations that you've had over the years with, with people that are really um, operating at a high level, um, is, is there a nugget of, of, of wisdom that you could share with us? Just kind of a common theme, a theme that you, or, or something that you would tell um, people that you've learned from all those conversations, just about human beings in yeah. general. First of all, people are people. One of the things that high performers tend to suffer from, they tend to be really hard on themselves. And it's served them well to a certain extent, but it often begins to get in the way. And sometimes we have to figure out how to be accepting of ourselves. Like, you know what, maybe I'm good enough. Maybe I don't need to beat myself over the head with uh, guilt and shame that I should have done more. I, sometimes I just have to accept that, you know what, I've worked hard, I've prepared, Am I perfect? No. And maybe that's just okay. A big thank you to Dr. Aberman for sitting down with us. A lot of really good things that we learned from the conversation. Uh, be sure to follow the Refresh Network on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we will see you all next week.